What up? This is Ramash Kring covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Hulu's new documentary, God Forbid, the sex scandal that brought down a dynasty. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Well, well, well. All right, all right, all right. We all knew this day would come. For those of us who are knee deep in news and politics, the name Jerry Fowell Jr. is no stranger to us. Hell, we even know the reputation of his late father's bigotry. So of course, we've heard about the scandal that shook Jerry Jr. and his wife these past couple of years when a certain pool boy decided to tell all. So we all knew that it was only a matter of time before this scandal gets turned into a documentary, just like Hulu did with Fire Festival and Victoria's Secret, among other topics. Okay, this God Forbid documentary is a must-see, not just because of the juicy sex stuff, which always sells, but on top of that, God Forbid also does an incredible job of informing you of white evangelical right-wingers' 50-year plan since the Roe v. Wade landmark decision. This docu does what the mainstream media fails to do, which is to correctly point out that it was never about the abortion with these assholes. To them, it was always about power and white supremacy. So the issue of abortion is just their propagandistic way of eventually grabbing that power. So look, think of the whole pool boy and cuckoldry as the tantalizing part of this docu for those of us who love gossip. But the substance lies within the ambitious political influence that these hypocrite Christians have set their eyes on for years. Directed by Billy Corbin, in this revealing documentary, Giancarlo Granda, former pool attendant at the Fontainebleau Hotel, shares the intimate details of his seven-year relationship with a charming older woman, Becky Falwell, and her husband, the evangelical Trump stalwart, Jerry Falwell Jr. Director Billy Corbin starts off this docu with flashes of hot, wet girls in sexy bikinis, and it all looks like some kind of a Miami Vice-inspired music video. It's clever, actually, because it wakes you up and it wastes no time whatsoever. It goes straight to that tempting offer that the pool boy and his raging hormones cannot refuse. And the way that the reenactment is done here takes you back to the old days of Cinemax at night, which is often suggestive and sultry, and the only thing missing is the sounds of saxophone music in the background. Talking head Giancarlo would recall the words in his exchanges with Jerry and Becky, and the actors playing them would utter those same words verbatim. I think not showing half their faces is a smart move, so as to not let us put anybody else other than Jerry, Becky, and Giancarlo in that room. Now, I've seen a lot of good true crime documentaries over the past year, but the way that the story unravels and snowballs in God Forbid is stunning. It's a game of manipulation and business scam and betrayal, and director Billy Corbin does a fantastic job of breaking the details down for you to easily follow. This is not a conspiracy. This is not he says, she says. These are facts with hard evidence, including a FaceTime video that's unbelievably shocking. I mean, all that Giancarlo ever has to do is just show that FaceTime video and boom, any effort or any attempt on denying him will immediately fall to pieces. Now, it is crucial that this docu presents the historical context behind the Liberty University and I'm glad that this docu goes there, because believe it or not, it's all connected. The sex scandal speaks to the larger picture, especially in understanding why evangelical Christians don't mind living a double life, and why they support a champion that's not even one of them, all in the name of accumulating power and wielding that power over everybody. So on a macro scale, unfortunately the damage is already done and it's going to be hard to reverse some of these policies. But at the very least, we can take joy and pleasure in the downfall of Jerry and Becky. Their hypocrisy is so comical, you can't help but laugh at them. And you know they're not some kind of anomaly. Their secret habit is more common than you think out there. 
But do you know what truly cracks me up about these hypocrite Christians? Is that they use, God has forgiven me. He has wiped away my sins clean as a way to avoid accountability and consequence. It really is a perversion of the concept of forgiveness. As for the pool boy Giancarlo, I'm not ready to call him a hero or anything. I mean, he's a handsome son of a bitch, I give him that. But his poor decision making is what led him to where he is today. Far cry from being a role model. But credit where credit is due, he spoke out. And because of that, we can take two horrible people off the chessboard. God forbid the sex scandal that brought down a dynasty is an eye-opening David versus Goliath docu that should not be overlooked.